Hi, everybody. Anybody? <laughs> I just saw that Thrift U went on an hour ago. Boy, I'll tell you. She usually goes on at 9.30, so I don't know. It's kind of weird. Look at, I got a, I got a light. Oh, it must be just one of these right on my chin. <laughs> See it? Unless it's the TV. Look at the TV behind No, no not. It's, the, it's one of those lights. So I don't know if anybody um, will come That's around funny. or not. But. I'm not even. I'll show you some stuff and we'll talk and we'll have a fun little chat. This has been a crazy day. I had a doctor's appointment this morning. I've been trying to get all my Christmas stuff out of the, what we call the pink room here at Chrissy's, which is really the storage, holiday storage room. It's a bedroom, and, but that's why we call it the pink room because it's a pink bedroom. Yeah, it's a pink bedroom. Um, so let's see, I get, so in my car right now I have uh, eight, yeah, oh no, 16 totes, those red ones with the green lids that are, I don't know, you know. Um, and I've got about um, four or five more. In a minute, got a volume. Four. So you got to go to the live chat. And what's this new pin chat? You can private message to the top of the live chat for viewers to read. Click any message to pin it. <laughs> See, they're they're always doing something new. You never know. It's only one person on right now, anyway, and it could be me. It's you because nobody's popped on here to say anything. But that's all right. We can finish our. Our work. So anyway, it's been a busy day getting all those down. I mean, they go clear up to the ceiling. I stack them about, um, I don't know, I eight can't high. Even figure out here, honey, your give stuff. me the scissors and I'll do it for you. They're back there. Don't be getting cranky on me. I'm already cranky. Sorry, I'm tired. You want a smaller one? No. Because I don't want to be awake till okay. twelve thirty again. So anyway, who else is on? I, I think uh, Nicole from Nesting yeah, Haven was supposed to go on at seven thirty, and then I was supposed to go on at eight. But now we've got. I can't get to half these books. You just have to reach over and or switch. I don't know what. I don't know. I just don't like being behind like this. You don't like being behind. Well, there's nobody the here. There's, there's nobody here people. but us. No, there's two people popped on. I don't know who they are because they're not saying. Whoever you are, say hi. And. Hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Because we are on our way to 200 subscribers. Only about 70 more to go. But we hit 200. And do you have that brass thing yet? Uh, I, uh, yeah. It's coming up. So... And just a busy day for us, and we're tired. Well, I had a three hour appointment yesterday. Yeah. But I, I think it, it, was, nice. it made a difference already. That's me with you. That one's got a number. Oh, here was the doggy stuff, too. And with the dog. The doggy, other doggy stuff here. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> we lost one already. Why don't you go and see who else is on? How can I? 
Oh, I just get off. I have to stay on, but you can go and jump to somebody else. It took me a minute scroll, for that to... Scroll up and, and you'll see yeah, if there's any other people still on live there. Should, they should pop up. Keep scrolling. Those are old stuff over on that side. Huh. I think I have to... Nesting Haven is still on. It's the only one that I see. Hmm. Okay. Go to Nesting Haven and see what she's doing. Give her a thumbs up. Premiering now. She just went on a half hour ago. It's 7.30. Yeah, I know. That's her usual. That's when she, she, oh, she went she in was, like three weeks ago, started doing it. She's got 86 freaking people watching her. Chrissy. They can hear that on here. Hey, Thrifting Adventures. Hey, how are you? We're good. How are you? We were just uh, marveling at uh, how Nesting Haven's got 86 people. She started a uh, half an hour ago. You just can't find a spot these days. No, you take a spot. In the so what's been happening with you? I can't get back to you. Uh, good. It's very windy here. Where are you again? What, what, and, and please tell me your first name again. I'm sorry. I forget. I write this down every time, and then I can't find where I wrote it. I can't get off hers now. I can't get off of her sale and back onto us. Oh, and Sweet. now the antique nomad went down. Now antique nomads on. Where? Oh, you're Stephanie. Okay, and in Washington State, that's a nice place to be, though. Let me have a pencil, honey. Got to write Stephanie down here one more time. I can't get back to you. Wait a minute. So, have you done um, any live sales? Stephanie, you probably have, and I've probably not missed. I haven't been. I've had all these doctor's appointments for my sleep apnea. Two of them, you know, you had to go and sleep there for six hours that night. And um, and then today I found out that the CPAP will help me greatly. <laughs> Who wants the CPAP? I don't. Every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern. Okay. I'm going to write that on here. Thrifting Adventures, Stephanie. Correct. That's all. Yeah, I tried Tuesday nights. No, Tuesday afternoons. Tuesday afternoons, and then I tried. I don't know. I Saturday afternoons. I just always get um, get knocked off by somebody, but but whatever. If I just like to get on here and. Log some hours. <laughs> so, what was last? What was your last sale like? What was Tuesday night? Did you have Christmas or what did you have, honey? I'm just tearing. What happened to the? Go oh, here. Do you have a? Do you have a, a niche? A niche. It was good. You had a lot. Oh, good. You had a bit of everything. Oh, that's amazing. I have a bid like, you know, last my last sale, I sold one. No, we sold two. Two. two? No, we sold three things to two different people. Three things to two different people. Are you sure? Yeah. So, I, I was thinking I, anyway, well, that's great. That's great. I, 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 doing something I have to admit, I don't, um, Vintage toys, books, jewelry, crafts. Oh, what kind of ephemera? Like postcards and things? Because I, you know, I'm always thinking that would be cool, the the, um, the ephemera type stuff, but I never find anything good. But I'm not going to, I am so bad at, um, at how to do uh, like on on Instagram, how these people are 
are so good at their little uh, short videos on Instagram. And I'm lucky if I can post a picture of something. I'm just not getting, oh, vintage greeting cards. And where do you find all these vintage greeting cards? Probably in Washington State, up there, around there, you probably have a better chance. Um, I'm, I'm really thinking that this side, the east side of, of the states is getting bought out. <laughs> I buy lots. Oh, you buy lots. Oh, I see. Yeah, I never buy lots. I, I, um, that would scare me. I, how do you find them? We might as well talk about you because I got nothing. <laughs> how do you find, I mean, do, they, do you, where do you find lots to, to buy? Um, places. Do they, like we don't have, we don't even have Goodwill bins here. That's how bad Southwest Florida is by us. The, clear, the nearest bin, I think, is about 80 to 100 miles up the road north, north of where I live up Florida Gulf Coast. eBay. Oh, eBay. And then, and you can get them so that you can resell them, huh? Because I watched, uh, who was on last night? Um, I can never say the name of it. And Joni Vint, Vintair, Vintages, Vin, she was selling, she had uh, lo lots of those cigarette cards. And I'm not sure what the other thing was. They were, um, but they had uh, the first batch she showed. You just keep your eyes peeled. Oh, I mean, but you go into, um, you go into eBay and type in like, uh, lots of vintage greeting cards or I'm not even a good searcher but she was selling a uh, vintage cigarette cards I've never even heard of those have you heard of those and they all had cool looking chickens and roosters on them and then she had a batch that had um, different kinds of fish see sea animals, sea fish and sea creatures. And uh, what else? She was on late, so I kind of like faded fast and, and left. Um, but uh, yeah, it was, it was, they were really cool, but you know, and I have no idea. She had some that were like, um, they were good prices, I'll bet, because they were like, um, she'd have like 20 cards for $25. And that seemed kind of good if you were going to go and sell them individually. But I don't know what you'd put on them individually even. But um, I, I I sell on eBay also. and uh, But when I started out, I started out with clothes and purses and things like that and I still do a lot of that but I have been sticking those things that I've picked up in the last year and a half uh, I've been putting on a lot of um, vintage stuffed animals plush animals and um, you know vintage plates and things like that um, dog shirt uh, dog shirt Oh, yeah. okay. Do you have a dog, Stephanie? A small dog. A little dog who needs, who's brand new, a little boy dog who needs. It's not to be a little boy dog. For these pee pads, I was going to say. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we've, got, we've got things for little dogs. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? It says, dear Santa, I have been a very good dog this year. It doesn't fit our little dog anymore. And quite honestly, it hasn't been that good. And it's He's, been too, it's too heavy for down here too. Yeah. And it's, it's fleece and we live, you know, in Florida. This is the coolest it's been in weeks and weeks and weeks. Oh, you have two dogs. What kind of dogs do you have? Not my dog size. <laughs> yeah, he's a, 
he's 11 pounds and uh, yeah. and just as ornery as can be just so Sometimes he's so good and then he can be so good but really when is that nighttime when he's ready to sleep when you're when you're ready to sleep pretty much don't you think a collie oh and a mini poodle how 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 small is your mini poodle i um my brother and uh, his first wife had a a uh, a poodle it seemed like it was a poodle mix like a poodle something he looked well uh, looked mostly poodle to me but he was really cute and, uh, oh, less than 10 pounds. Oh, he's really little. Well, this one, he wore that when he was less than 10 pounds. Too bad we don't have more, yeah. where we haven't figured out where we put the elf size one. No, it's round. It's with that angel, probably. Uh, this might fit him. Fit her. Is it a her or him? Must get cold in Washington State. Do you know those girls that are, um, they spend a lot of time reclaiming what is what are they called? They're Laura and Laura and not Stacy. Uh, it's a her. Oh, okay. Do they get along well? Who's the oldest? The collie or the mini poodle? We were thinking of, but um, Chrissy, this is actually my daughter's um, animal, but your grandma. But I'm the grandma, and I treat him just like my other grandchildren. The poodle is older. So how'd she like it when you brought in that? That was the collie a puppy when you brought him in, brought her in, or whatever her is it is. Uh, we were thinking about getting another dog for Finn to play with, and then I don't know if you've heard the saga of the um, of the guinea pigs, guinea pigs with us, but you know she found these two guinea pigs that people they got along. That's good. That's good. She actually Finn found these guinea pigs that somebody had had just abandoned in the back. In the backyard, actually, not in our yard, but right on the it. other side of our fence is where they were hiding. Um, and um, <laughs> we just, there were just two. There, we thought there was just one, actually, because, and, and Chrissy thought at first it was a skunk, skunk because it was black and white. And, um, and it turned out to be a black and white uh, guinea, pig. guinea pig with a bed head. They look, yeah, we should they look bring like them bed heads. And um, and then when we finally got around to deciding after a couple of days and nobody was out looking for them, we um, we decided to take Finn's little dog crate out there and put some food in it. And boy, they ran right in. That's when we found out there were two. Yeah, and that's when we found out there were two. Which is good anyway. So we didn't know if they were boys or girls, and I told Chrissy, if it's a boy and a girl, we're not keeping these, or we're not keeping them because, you know, they're probably like rabbits. And she they was right here. And then she ran. Yeah. Um, Hamilton is hiding in the hiding box. So, so we, um, we she, she, Chrissy's, well, we both love the, the musical Hamilton, and I think King George is probably Chrissy's favorite. Uh, character in that because she loves the um, Jonathan Groff. Groff. Groff, yeah, and of course I He's my favorite's original. Hamilton himself, Lin Manuel. So anyway, that's what we named him, King George and Hamilton. And then she took him to the vet and turned out they were girls, both of them. But uh, we left their names yeah, as King George and Hamilton. George. And we've had them about a month now, anyway, right? Maybe oh, longer. Yeah. But they still don't like to be held. I mean, once you hold them to your chest and everything, they're, they're okay. Fine. But picking them up, they just get crazy. And someone used a dust buster. <gasps> yeah, I was bad. I was trying to get some of their more. dried little tiny poops up with the dust buster. And boy, they don't want anything to do with me for a while. 
and they still won't have anything to do with me, probably because I let you do it. <laughs> I, didn't, <laughs> I, I didn't ask your permission. <laughs> no, you didn't. Yeah, it is funny. I wish I could show you, but they won't come to her. If I get around to that side, I can help Or maybe if she gets a big carrot or no. a big piece of celery. I'm going to have to go and She's gonna. She's gonna show you since our you're our only only friend on on here right now. Do you have something else you would rather do? Did you get on to look at stuff? Because I could show you stuff, but it's just it's just you. I gotta get going. It looks like you have seven. Seven. Wow. I'm amazed. All right. Oh. Do you hear him? Do you hear? Here's Hamilton. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, Ben loves him. Wants to kiss him. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'm sure glad you stopped by, Stephanie. I'll try to catch your next your next um sale for sure. And uh, and thank you again for coming on. And if I don't see you beforehand, happy, uh, happy Christmas, have Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Are you selling? Yeah, I am selling. Uh, as soon as I get my act together here, there were there was just Stephanie there, so I do have some things to sell. Uh, about thirty items, uh, quite a few books though. I don't know. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let him go back. Her, her rather, her with the boy name. Come here, Hamilton. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. So I have a few. I got to get them some something. Okay. I, I have a few things for sale. I have these four Coca Cola Christmas glasses with a little window pane on them. And poinsettias, and and then holly. Let's see what was the date on these. I had a date at one time written down on these. They're Libby's. Got the L on the bottom. They're in great shape. You know, they're. I think they're from the. Um, I think they're from the nineties. And um, there's four of them, and I'm asking $8 for these. And their number, what was the last number, Chrissy? They're number 40. Number 40. Four of these window pane Coca-Cola glasses. Number 40. They're like a, they're a large, they're a large highball. They're not chatting. Oh, they're quiet tonight. Put all these stickers on them. Uh, okay. So, four Coca-Cola glasses. I think they're about eight, I don't know, maybe eight ounces, I would think. You know, while you're up, you could bring me a Coca-Cola. Okay. There's one in there. Maybe I didn't put it in there. Um, I love Coca-Cola. These, if they don't go, and I, I am going to stick them on eBay. I'm going to stick them on eBay for like 16 see what happens. But I thought I'd offer. It's like you got Coke. You got, some, you got Mountain Dew and you got orange. I'll take a orange, if you don't mind. And, um, and a cup for them again. I'd rather have them in a cup. Um, Chrissy, you know thank you. By the, it's by the sink. It's the clear big one. Okay. So anyway, I thought on here on eBay, I I just ask eight dollars for them because I think I paid about two bucks a piece, or maybe a dollar fifty. I can't remember now. It's been a long time, year and a half maybe, when I got these. So anyway, they are four. They. All look just like this. There's no wear on them. All the paint is in beautiful, beautiful condition. 
and they look real cute on a on a holiday table. <clears throat> and they're eight dollars for four. Number forty. Where are we going to put this? I am going to put that right there. Okay, also I have these glasses. These are G Gibraltar, and they're by, it's on here. Uh, oh man. What does that say on there? Can you see it? Because I can't see as well on my contacts. I'm noticing today as I can in my normal. Instance. Does anybody know what these Gibraltar glasses makes these? There is a bunch of letters down there. Anyway, I have eight of these in perfect condition, just like okay, this. Okay, Finny, that's my seat, baby. Hey, yeah. Move that's over. Mama's Let seat. your mama sit there. Okay. Uh, yeah, there are eight of them. They're in perfect condition. And um, I am asking uh, right there. 16 for the eight. Well, these many miscellaneous just <coughs> said hi, Margie. Who's on there? Melody's. Many Melody. Oh, hi, Melody. Yeah, I see your melody, mini miscellaneous. Um, so anyway, okay, the Gibraltar glasses, eight of them. No chips or cracks or anything. They're in perfect condition. Uh, She's drinking oh, orange pop. Yeah, oh, it's so yummy. What does that say? Oh. <laughs> you yelling here and over there. <laughs> we can hear our neighbor. She got these three adorable little girls. And every now and then, she has to raise her voice. Uh, oh, anyway, these are number 41. $16, number 41 for, for these. You can write, write these down here. Well, I can't because you have the book. Oops. You have to... So the, the window pane will be 41 then. The Gibraltar okay. will be 40. That. I'm sorry. These are number 40, not 41, 40 for $16. And these are number 41. Oh, the window on. pane Coca-Cola, um, which I should look these up. I know they're from the 80s, I believe. So... You've been pretty busy here. I'll uh, see, what else do I have here? Do you want How to- How much were the window pane? Uh, four for eight. Four dollars for eight? No, four no, for that eight way around. Dollars. Eight dollar, there are eight dollars for four glasses. Yeah. Do you want to hand me that uh, nutcracker? This one. I have this really nice nutcracker. He's about nine inches tall. He doesn't do anything but look nice. He's got this card of an... <laughs> I'm laughing at the kids next door. Holler. A fake cry. Yep. It was definitely Naomi with a fake cry, I think. I don't think it's Naomi. I think it's either of, maybe Sella, the middle the one. The middle one. Marcella. She's about four or five. Okay, so this guy is, um, I think originally he was from Steinmart. I, I think there was a sticker that came off on the bottom here. Mm -hmm. um, but um, he's, he's in perfect condition. There's no chips or anything like this. He's got that antique gold or brass look. In the goblets, I just noticed that. Get them off me. And, uh, and no licking. And the present and the wreath, and I'm asking, um, I'm asking nine dollars for him, and he's number thirty-two. Nine. What are you drinking? Oh yeah, I think this is sun-kissed orange. I think she meant in your goblets. I realize that now. 
go in my goblets. I think they're just water goblets. The so it would be water anything. or soda with me. <laughs> Is it metal? Mm -hmm. No, I bet it's a resin of some kind. It's it's quite heavy. And, um, and there are no chips or anything to, to be able to see underneath it at all. But, um, but I just... Oh, you were, she was asking about the orange drink, your diet sun-kissed. Yeah, diet sun-kissed. He's just very handsome. And he, you know, he doesn't have any moving parts, but he does have nice curly hair. And Georgie is. And a great hat and those nice teeth. He always has such good teeth. He doesn't have the old thingamajiggy because he doesn't work. He's just decorative. He's not. Yep. Okay, so not. number 32, $9. I'm going to put him down. I have some nice books. Books that, like, my daughter would have probably read. No. No? Kim, maybe, but not me. Okay. Did you ever read um, the Black Stallion books? I, uh, I loved Horse stories. I guess I was the one that would read them. I guess yeah. some of these are from the 50s, huh? Yeah, because I wasn't into horse books. But I just loved loved them. And um, so I have one here. Black Stallion. And it's called Black Stallion Ghost. And it is... In, Pretty decent. It said it said Alec Ramsey and the black and the black, meaning the black stallion I got, I guess. Lost in the Everglades at night. Being a Florida person, I know all about that. That would be scary. Yeah. Um so I don't know if you're familiar with the oh. black stallion, but they were get down. See what I mean? He's so on. But she wrote Most a lot of books. Yes. I've got about five of them here from her. I was trying to find the date on this one because we had the date uh, written down, but I did not write it down. Well, it's in the book. Where did I put the book? Right here. And I wrote it in the book. So what? So that was that's. Uh, so this is number fourteen. I'm asking four dollars for this for so, 1969. For this book. But now, if you wanted more of these, I would certainly do a deal if you wanted like. Two or three or all of them. All five. There's together. five. There's five of them all together. We can set those over on the table or something maybe. Um, but anyway, here's this one. It's This one's called The Ghost. But I'm individually, I'd like about, uh, I'd like like $4 on them. What year was this? That one's 69. 1969. Here's Black Stallion and the Girl. That one's 71. That one's in the worst. Of oh, hi, Katie. Vintage and Vinyl is here. Katie. All righty. One of these days, Katie, I'm going to get around to showing some really I old know. albums. Not anytime soon, I don't think. But here's Black Stallion and the Girl. What year? 71. This one's 1971. Let's this says... So, oh, soon to be a major motion picture, The Black Stallion, in the summer of 1978. Does anyone remember the movie The Black Stallion in, and, and the girl in 1978? It's called The Black Stallion, I bet. I guess not. All right, so this was number 13. Angel. Angel. Angela just showed up. Angela. Hi, Angela. How are you doing? Is, uh, is Nesting Haven over? Nicole done with her sale? Nope. <laughs> no, what? But nope, you didn't see the movie? Oh, but yeah. Vintage and Vinyl has. Yeah. Little Vintage and Me. Hi. Hi, Little Vintage and Me 64. How you doing? <laughs> Diana. 
Oops, wrong glass. I just tried to drink out of that and it was empty. <laughs> I could drink orange soda every day of the week. Sometimes I do. Okay, so there's Black Stallion and the girl. We had Black Stallion and the ghost. And here's Black Stallion Mystery. That's 1957. This was 19, this was printed in 1957. That's just actually is just as good a shape as the well the this part isn't quite as good but not not bad they're in pretty good shape for their age and this one's number number twelve four dollars now like I said if you want a couple of these or whatever I'm willing to go down oh and here's the black stallions filly that's this fat black stallion. Oh, it is stallions. I didn't write that black down. Black stallions filly. 1952. 1952. So the black stallion had a filly. Oh, and it was made into a ma major motion picture. So I guess I must have missed all these. But that's a nice graphics on the front, isn't it? The mystery one is too. Which one? The mystery one. Was made into a movie? Oh, there's another. So these were big in the 70s, these movies, evidently. And so was this last one, the Revolts one. So I don't know if they were on TV or if they were in the theater. Major motion picture, I guess they were in the theater. Okay, so here's, yeah, Black Stallion. This one has a little issue back here. The tear right there. It's one of the oldest ones. What was this year, honey? Which one? The the Philly? Philly? 52. Yeah, this That's one was old. 1952. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what these are. And we're talking about Richard Scarry. He was a good illustrator, yeah. Oh, uh, Nicole's still having a sale, huh? Yeah. She snuck in there after I scheduled it at 8. She started at, decided at to go 7 at 7.30. All right, so here is number 10, Black Stallion Revolts. This 1953. Is 1953, also turned into a major motion picture. Kelly doesn't say that on one of them. This one here says it though. I know only the ghost doesn't say that. That's okay, this ghost. is this one goes on the filly. Put it on the back here like this. Okay. We'll save them for the next sale or when I put them on. Not mine. Have any postcards or old magazines? No, no I you know I what's considered old? Fifties, you mean? Or or what? Postcards or magazines. Thanks, Katie. I just washed it today. It <laughs> needed it. <laughs> but uh, show me. Let's see a couple of those cookbooks. See if they're interested in any of those older cookbooks. Not your usual cookbook. Does anybody use their microwave? Remember when they first came out? What year was this? Um, let's see here somewhere. This was, we got this in a book club. Mm. I think I probably wrote it in there. So let's see. This is a um, 1980, when microwaves were like pretty new. Mm -hmm. I can remember the microwave my my dad bought for my mom. And I know she, Are you kidding? Don, dad bought one for you. 60s and older. Yeah. Well, I don't know if I have any of those left. I used to, we used to have them. Um, I'm afraid my mom did them in. But anyway, here's a microwave cookbook, farm journals, country style microwave cookbook, 104 favorite family dishes converted for microwave cookery by the food edition, no, by the food editors of Farm Journal. And um, 
Let's put this here. And it's got that dust cover on it still. The inside is just, just black, but it's in good shape. And it is... But anyway, I, I digress. My dad brought home this microwave. It was huge. And my mother, who was, you know, a great cook, she was like, no, uh, what am I going to use that for? You know? But let me tell you, she started to love her microwave for those baked potatoes, how fast they cooked, remember, and vegetables. She never did meat in there uh, that I can remember. I'm trying to sell stuff on yours. Um, And uh, 60 and older is your jam, too. Oh. So anyway, uh, let's see. I have this one marked. Uh, it's not. It's $4, and it's number 23. Just kind of kitschy for your, for your cookbook collection if you, if you want something. Uh, when the microwave was just being introduced. It might have been earlier than that. It might have been even the 70s. I don't remember when it first came out. I was like the 70s. But they I... were big. They were big. My dad was a pretty little guy. <laughs> he just like, but he was strong. He was little, he was little but mighty. Um, but she got to love her microwave. All right, so I that. I was our first one. Yeah, so. Oh, and I had fun with our first one. So that was like, that was number 23. Okay, and here's a nice one here. This one is not, this one's not um, um, old, I don't think. 1980, oh, oh 2000 really? some, I forgot. It's 2000 something and it says it in there. But it was, oh yeah, it's 2000, 2008. But it was made, it was put out in 2001, but it was gifted in 2000. Oh, okay. So this was um, gifted book. It has simple strawberry sensations recipes. Finn, absolutely not. You need to leave. No, no more. No more licky. No more kisses. Um, but anyway, boy, that shows you every which way to. Now his feelings are hurt. So he's going over here. So. Uh, Different different ways to make pretty strawberry things. Kind of simple. Warm strawberry syrup. That can't be too hard. That's why it says simply. I guess it did say simple, didn't it? Mm-hmm. Strawberry buttermilk pancakes. Strawberry brunch waffles. I think some of these are kind of... Well, it was given to a sorority girl. Strawberry macadamia nut scones. Now that sounds good. That one there. Strawberry macadamia nut scones. So one sorority girl gave it to another sorority yeah. girl? Um, it, was a, it was something else that gave it to the sorority. If you look in here, it tells you. Yeah. In the front, it tells oh, you. Oh, in the front. Right oh, it here, says. Right here. It says, presented to a Beta Sigma Psi sister by 2008 Florida State Convention, May 18th, 2008. And there was, and you could buy this. It was a fundraising thing of thingamajiggy. Back in the day. Back in the day, 2008. Not very long ago, but some of these get a little more di difficult or interesting. Strudel muffins, incredible strawberry strudel muffins. That looks pretty good. Dazzling strawberry pizza, baked strawberries and fruit casserole. Strawberry cupcakes with strawberry frosting. Mm -hmm. ah, simple strawberry melon ball bowls. Mm. Strawberry ambrosia kebabs. Delicious strawberry bread. Now there's beverages. Now you get into the beverages. The Pride of Kentucky strawberry juleps. Mm -hmm. And it get and you use bourbon in that. And then mimosa. splashy strawberry mimosas. 
that must be champagne. Yep. And orange juice and strawberries. Yeah. Now that appeals to me. Oh, go ape strawberry shake, sunny strawberry orange smoothie. There's some good stuff in here. Mmm. Strawberry champagne punch. Well, anyway, so I'm asking four dollars for it, and it's number twenty-two. If you haven't thought up enough ways to do strawberries, here's your answer. Number. Hi, Carol. <laughs> Tippy Wings Vintage. I love that name. That's her daughter. Tippy I Wings. think that's her cat's name. Tippy Wings. Tippy. What did I say? I don't know. But it wasn't that. No, you said the tippy part, but you didn't. Okay, so anyway, this was $4 number 22. This cute little cookbook. Now we get into some more interesting things. Oh, right, here's the. Do you want to do this recipe thing first? Yeah. So here is. The best recipes from the backs of boxes, bottles, cans, and jars. So a century's worth of proven, simple, highly popular culinary secrets. An American heritage Lisa of classic Gatter dishes. Loves it. Huh? Lisa Catter shirt loves, loves, loves it. <gasps> you finally got it? Oh, thank goodness. I am so glad. Yeah, that was adorable, that shirt. And I just thought of you immediately because you're the only one I knew that, that could think of that would fit in it because it, it was tiny, except for my sister. Anyway, what is, what's this one from? Oh, this goes into the girl uh, book at the back. So, so anyway, this one is from... Where is this one from? This is a huge book. This has lots of recipes. Oh, you wrote this. It's got some issues on the on the pages, I think. I don't know which one is which because I think you wrote it was splashed girl and ghost on both of them. Uh well the other one I I think 14. I, I think I scratched out that um, one's just girl. Okay, then this one goes on the ghost. Girl and ghost, yeah. Which is just, it's not a girl and a ghost. It's just a ghost. Oh. <laughs> I was confused because you kept saying it confusingly. Here, this one's here. <laughs> You're just confused. I know, I know. I'm still trying to find a date on this. I wrote it on the paper. Um, 1986, oh, 89, 1989. I wrote them on there. Well, you're my, you're my oh. helper. You're supposed to pop up with that right away. Um, but they've got some interesting things that come on the back of um, of different stuff. So how you doing, Lucid? I'm. I haven't seen you for uh, ages and ages. We and vintage craze. Hi. Uh, but oh, um, they have that cook. Someone has that cookbook. It's great. I can't read from here. And I've got a cup on my lap. The book itself is nice. The only issue is these spots on the sides. And I don't know what what they got on there. I was afraid to try to get it off. Obviously, it was laying there when something splashed. Like like when you're trying to pick up a piece of meat and, and you drop it back accidentally into the pan and it splashes out. That's what this looks like. But it got it on the top too. Not on the bottom. The bottom's it's on the it's, something's on this one too. Yeah, that well, it came from the same person evidently. So anyway, this is a very nice book and it is not where's the oh it is four dollars and it's number twenty one. If anyone wants this book for four dollars, it's number twenty one. Hey again, Katie, vintage craze, yeah. Diane Carter. Hi, Diane. <clears throat> she likes that cookbook. Well, easy meal. Is it? It's a good meal. I, you know, I, I, I should follow more recipes. I end up making the same old stuff that Mom made. Nothing wrong. Nothing wrong with that. I know. But um, 
But, okay, number, what did I say? Number 21, $4. You can have this really good book to add to your collection. Got a nice red cover if you'd like to have it without the without the dust cover. It's better in the dust cover. Yeah, Christy says it's better in the dust cover. She's probably right. And then this last one here is the Yankee Home Hints. From stains on the rug to squirrels in the attic, over 1,500 ingenious solutions to everyday household problems by Earl Prol. I don't know. It must be French. Prolox? Prolox? How do you say that? Anybody know? Mm. Plain talk columnist for the Yankee Magazine. And I have one at home, too. It's not this one, but I have one at home with different um, ways to fix problems, you know, squeaky floors and uh, well, different how to get rid of different odors. The first store our owner was fuming. I don't know what that's about. Um, great tarnish transfer for getting tarnish off of things. Oh, and give lipstick the kiss off with hairspray. Oh, you can take lipstick off your collar with hairspray. Mm. Hmm. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, this ammonia, to think it all started with a camel. That's correct. Ammonia is a colorless, pungent gas composed of Don't nitrogen and hydrogen. It's readily absorbed by water. Where does a camel come in? The water? Well, the Don't they carry industry. water in their humps? Uh, <laughs> it came, it was a byproduct of the coal industries, but earlier than that, somehow they made it out of heating the antlers of a deer. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and then they made it from the dung of camels. Oh, so glad it's not that now. Told you, I knew it had to, it was going to be something gross. It is gross. All right. Well, anyway, here, um, Yankee Home. Hints, $4, number 20. Number 20. Somebody said hello, Gracie. I don't know if that was you. No, it's Christy. Okay. All right, let's see that. Um, let's see the lamp. Try again. Yeah. Okay. So I have this Lennox lamp. It's really pretty. Not even the candles been messed up with. And I am, what I decided to do, I paid $4.99 for this lamp. And so I thought what I'd do is say, offer up starting at $9 and see if anyone, any if there's more than one person I interested. My, I don't even have my phone nearby. Well, where's, where was mine? It was just here. <laughs> so you mentioned it before we even have a, a pair. Here's mine. You ask ask a Google to set a timer for for one minute. Is any, does anyone like it? It is purdy, isn't it, Lucid? And um, and and it it's got its box and all the. Um, styrofoam sections that holds it in place. Uh, so I think it would ship pretty well. And of course I would add extra uh, bubble wrap around um, around the pieces uh, in the box to make sure it did ship well. But it is so pretty. Somebody the last week, or not, not last, last week, before. I didn't do it last week, but the week before last, uh, Joanne, I think, um, the lavender buttons bought uh, a um, a sleigh, a Christmas sleigh that had this right. holly on it, and she bought it to match a lamp like this. I thought that was kind of funny. Oh, yeah, yeah please smash. Yeah, it's yeah. a silver stuffed house. Okay, so anyway, uh, that's what I'm going to do. I am going to start the timer, ask. 
I don't. Okay, give it here. I don't know how to. I don't do talk to Google. You do. All right. All right. We're going to do this. Alexa would do it too. Let's see. I don't want to yell to Alexa in the other room. Uh, set a timer for one minute starting now. Starting now. Oh, that didn't even do it. All right. We're going to start now. $9 is the starting bid. Oh, you did get your sled. She's on here. Yes. I Nancy. Is that Nancy? Nancy? Or, yeah. I don't know. Sure. I got them so mixed up. I'm so bad. Yeah, Nancy. Okay. I'm interested in the nine. I don't see the countdown here. Darn. I'm not even doing very well with this. You've got your watch on? Yeah, but I don't know how to do a timer on my watch. But I can countdown. do the countdown. I gotta wait till I get. There you go. Okay, that was it. Nobody wanted it for nine dollars. All right. Okay. That's all right. It's gonna go on eBay next. Let's see. Was inter anybody want to see my uh, Gibraltar glasses? Let's see. I also have this. Um, This would be number what forty um, two. The Starbucks mug from two thousand and five, and it says it only happens once a year, and it's got the little stocking on the back. And it's six dollars, number forty-two. Forty-two, six dollars, number forty-two. Did you? She did on the funny Christmas story challenge. Oh yeah, when it's she said she killed Frosty. Is that something I can go and look at now after the sale? <laughs> and that was Nancy that did that. That sounds great. So, and other people got in on that. What else is over there, honey? She'll oh, give you the my, uh, give me the Tupperware thing, and the and uh, what, what else is Santa? Santa's the. Yeah. Santa's the okay, yeah, Santa. we could all use a good laugh. That's for sure. Okay, so here's this vintage uh, Tupperware condiments thing. I do not have the spoons, but this is an excellent shape. It's very clean on the inside of all of them. The lids are all in good shape. And it's the gold and the green color or tan. I don't know what year this is. Like I said, the spoons are missing. I don't have the spoons, darn it. But I thought it was cute, and um, I'm asking $8, and it's number 31. Christmas story video. <laughs> number 31 for the vintage Tupperware. No? We need a sticker for this one then too. Oh, does anybody like some playing cards? I've got some nice little playing cards here. Christmassy ones. Still in the wrapping. Two packs for four dollars. Or one pack for two dollars if you only wanted the one. To the JL is the description. 
categories too. I have to, I have to go look at that. I love stuff like that. <laughs> hey, Nate's on. Hi, Nate. All right, anybody want these cute little cards? Christmas cards, $2 a pack. I'll even do, I'll even do the two together for three, you know, if you want both of them. And they're number 25. Hi, Nate. You own, you own the, maybe the, the oh, which one you're oh, talking these, about? The maybe. yeah, yeah, yeah. I I know. You know, I used to have a ton of um, Tupperware, but um, I've gotten rid of about all of it. But here are these little guys. Yes, we ship from Florida. Oh yeah. Melody's we asked. We ship from Florida. Who is that? Melody. Oh, Melody. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So what was this? This one was um, eight dollars, number thirty-one. We ship from Florida. Yep. Oh, sure do. You. Oh. Do you need to go outside? Do you need to go outside and go potty? He's whining. Okay. Biscuits, biscuits. Do you want this maybe? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to try this little guy again. I had him a couple of weeks ago. 1980s Duncan Enter. Enter. I think it was Enterprises. I was Enterprises, guessing. Uh, in, God bless it. And they're in pink. Now, from looking at looking these up a couple of different times, I guess this was like one of those, you could go to your, um, I'll fix it, and we just won't show it. Um, we, you could go to your local ceramics place and choose this and, on, and so paint that. it up. So it looks like that's what somebody did with this little purse, little thing. It's, I, I think it's just a little planter. I guess you could put a lot of toothpicks in there. With a cute little air air plant or some holly leaves or some uh, small sprigs off of your Christmas tree at the bottom. Um, I ship from um, Cape Coral, Florida by Fort Myers, so it's southwest Florida. Zip code is 33914. It's about two-thirds of the way down. How far is Margie away from you, Katie? Katie, are you at Vintage and Vinyl? Katie, you're in Florida? I didn't know that. I guess I I know that uh, uh, Christine from Side Street uh, Market is from Florida. Oh, you're here in Jacksonville. You know, one of these days, I'm going to find maybe you, Katie, and ask somebody to show me how to use the internet, I mean the internet, Instagram and YouTube better because I can't, I don't know how to do anything. I'm terrible. <laughs> I can't even, I can't even seem to remember how to do a, a video on Instagram. I can get maybe one on there and then I can't figure out how to, post it anywhere or, or put another continuing story on it. What, what name, Daphne? It is a pretty name until they call him Daffy. I had a girl in, in grade school named Daphne and they called her Daffy. And then when, when they were being really mean, they called her Daffy Duck. I didn't, I, not me. I never did that. I was a nice girl. I went to Lutheran school. You were supposed to be nice. <laughs> All right. So anyway, this cute little guy is $5.
And he's number 34. Five dollars, number 34 from 1980. 1980. Two little pink Santas with their Santa bag. Didn't know Santa was a twin, did ya? Anyway, there you go, number th number 34, five dollars. That there, that there. Ah, uh, she had to take the dog outside. Let me see. Does anyone have a little dog that needs a brand new little dog? This was when Finn was Finn, who is now eleven pounds, and he was a little bitty three pound doggy, four pounds, five pounds. We had we were trying to train him, and we'd have these pee pads on him when he came to my house because his grandpa, I'm his grandma, his grandpa didn't like it if he peed on the floor in our rug. And this is when he, this is a blow up collar, like the cone of shame uh, for, for the dog when he gets, when he gets clipped. And here's a cute little travel bowl still in the package. So we got three of these. We got some liners for those, for these, these are Velcro. For, they're for a boy, uh, evidently. I, I seem to remember. It's four years old. I can't remember back that far. But anyway, here's this. Some liners for that. And, and a collar that lights up if you put a new battery in it. But I didn't. I didn't put a battery in it. Anyway, all of this stuff for a new little dog, five dollars. All of this stuff. One, two, three, four. Lost one of the little three things. The collar, the inflatable cone of shame, and some liners. All for five dollars. Number forty-three. Number forty-three. Baboda, that's, that's a cool name, Baboda. Has everybody been crafting a lot, making... Oh, here, I want to show you this. I don't know if anyone... Oh, and, and then here's a cute little fleece um, doggy kind of like a little doggy sweatshirt, but it's got the, the white around the collar. It says, Dear Santa, I've been a very good dog this year. And it fits about a seven pound or eight pound dog. It's a small, I mean, it's a little, it's, it's actually, it's not, it doesn't, it's not too bad on Finn because he's kind of a sleek dog, but he, it, but it's fleece and down here in Florida, yeah, we very seldom get cool enough weather for him to wear this. So we try to find him little t-shirts that are like sleeveless. tank, yeah, tank top type sleeveless, sleeveless things or, or but um but this is um we're asking five dollars for this and it's number twenty nine. He only wore it once. First yeah, Christmas. He, he wore it his first Christmas. It was probably pretty big on him that year. Yeah. Yeah. Because he's only six months. Only six months old. Yeah, I can't imagine. He's only three or four pounds or five pounds. I don't know. Postcards and patinas here. Wow. Thanks, everybody. I hope you're giving me a thumbs up. I hope everybody's subscribed to me. I don't know about Daphne. Please subscribe. I would love that. Carolina Princess. Oh. I love it when they're all talking and visiting. So anyway, I wanted to show you, I'm sitting against a queen size Christmas comforter from, 
probably the late 90s or early yeah. or 2000, early 2000, maybe 2001 or two. And I also have a king size, and 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 it's, it's um, set. it's a whole set. It's the it's pillow shams and pillow cases. I got a queen size and a king size. There's the pillow cases. The pillow the pillow shams are are for some reason. Even on the king size, better just standard size shams. Uh, but here's the um, king size pillowcases. And this, you know, I bet we use these maybe three times through Christmas. You know, when people were coming down, when you first moved to Florida from a cold state like we moved from Indiana, um, everybody comes. First five years, you got somebody visiting you every holiday and and all the time right uh, but then after that been there done that and you don't usually put christmas sheets on your guest room's bed if um if if nobody's coming so anyway um and i don't bother change putting this on well and not only that the um the fitted sheet isn't very deep, um, but I know that the mattresses are getting thinner again, thinner again. Uh, for a while there when you had an 18 inch mattress, um, these didn't fit anyway because they're more like 12 or 14, but it's such a pretty set and it's just in such wonderful, wonderful shape. No, you don't need um, this. You don't like green texture. Like this, this is the uh, fitted sheet. Um, and, and here's the flat sheet. Very nice material. 100% cotton. It's got a, a bed skirt for the king size. And, and then the the uh, comforter itself is just like this, only king size. This is the queen size. And I'm asking for this king size set, I'm asking $15 for all the pieces and $10 if you wanted the queen. And that would be number 45, $15 for the king. Sticks his head through the hole. <laughs> what is this? Just the other day. Oh. I just put it on the bed a few minutes ago. That's nice. Is it a you mean is it Christmassy or just a just a new duvet? <laughs> Some cute curtains. <laughs> you so neat. I just need to find someone to admire it with me. Yes, for sure. I'm losing my battle. Huh? I'm losing my battle. Fast. Uh oh. All right, well, what time is it? Because uh, we got about 15 minutes before, I don't know if their fuse coming on tonight or not. They had that little pop-up thing. But uh, I don't know, it started around seven. Um, they will post tonight, but he's wearing <laughs> All right, Tippy needs to earn his keep. Yep, yep. All right, folks, I'm gonna call it a night. We didn't sell anything, but that's okay because I'm gonna. I've been listing a lot of stuff on eBay, and um, um, I just love no thrift you tonight. Oh, yeah, yeah. love the classy bed. I have gold damask. Ooh, that sounds nice, Katie. Yeah, my um, 
My daughter loves soft, soft, soft sheets. She's she's got she's addicted to soft, soft material. If it's soft material, she needs it. I don't blame her. It feels really good though, really. Uh, so now I think I'm I'm pretty much at the end. Make sure you put the link to your eBay listing in the description of your videos. Oh. You got an eBay store. Oh uh, yeah, I have an eBay store. Um, I'll have to put that down there. Yeah. Can you add that afterwards? Yeah, see, I don't know how to do a lot of this stuff. I thought I had it last time and it, I did But, um, but I kind of just do this to chat with people and and see, I, I've been doing pretty well lately on eBay. I mean, I'm not, you know, I've been painting a lot, painting a lot of furniture, which I'm going to end up uh, opening up a little, a little, probably a little uh, boutique furniture, painted furniture store here. But probably not until about March here at my daughter's because she's um, in an area where you can do that. And I am not. There's two people on right now anyway, Trader Auctions and Moonstone Mamas. Really? Yep. All these people are talking. Well, good night, Talk everybody. Hours. I love you all so much, and I appreciate you coming coming on and talking and laughing and sharing. That's fun. And um, uh, I'll see you next Wednesday. Next Wednesday night. Might be the same stuff. Might be something different. Depends on what I find. <laughs> Love you all. And, and good night.